We came so close to being promoted last season. It was memorable, disappointing. I have to admit, I didn't almost didn't feel like playing the game for a while. I was like, I was like, you know, I was kicking myself and I was telling myself, maybe I should have paid attention to some of the matches and not been such a comic. And uh, well, so I, ought, I ought, so this this show is more of a transfer special, I guess, because we've reached the end of the first season and I have to get ready for the second season. So what I've done is I've gone out and I've signed a whole bunch of youngsters. Now, um, what we've done, I'll just go to the transfer history so far because I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm still in the middle of making transfers. In fact, quite a lot of transfers haven't been done yet. So if I'm looking at all the players that have come in, we've signed a few players, Jiang Yi, um, all these were free signings. So I went out to find defenders because the biggest problem we have as a club is the back line. The back line is very average. We've got players who've got uh, poor positioning or if they have got decent position and they've got poor tackling or they've just, they just can't jump. So we needed to find a whole bunch of youngsters. So I, I went out there into the market and I looked around for players who could um, fill that role. And we found a few players, um, some of them have very nice pictures. I don't know where these came from, but that's cool. Uh, tackling, look at his uh, mentals. These this dude's mentals are not bad. They're pretty solid. Um, nines, and I know that I have to hit an average between 9 to 11. So, 9 would be the lowest. And, and we found this youngster who's only 16 years old. 16 years old. With these kind of attributes, I immediately went, okay, fine, we'll take him on as well. He's a youngster. He, you, he could perform much later. And I'll get into why I'm picking youngsters as well. Uh, we've got this English boy, Ulusei Obai Daily. The only part of his name that I can actually pronounce is Daily. The rest of his name is... Oh, oh, daily. That's what we're going to call him. Oh, oh, daily. Zhao Jingfeng, another interesting signing at the age of 16. So I was like, so I've gone into this. My scout, who's basically, um, I've only got one scout. <laughs> and the only scout is out on assignment. So we're going to have to cancel this assignment very soon because something has happened. Do you notice my transfer budget is now 947k? I couldn't believe it. When we ended the season, I had no transfer budget. My wage budget was like 18,000 pounds per week. And I was I was um, making plans on doing something. And um, the chairman suddenly came around and provided a cash injection of 230k. And then they went and gave me a wage budget of £89,000 per week and a transfer budget of 947 k that, that gave me a shock because at this point in time, I was really thinking, maybe I want to move clubs, maybe I want to get out of here. But when somebody comes to me and gives me this this much cash for me, I mean, considering the fact that I don't have any money, um, comes up to me and says, you have this transfer budget. And I went like, holy crap, what can I do with all this? So I've looked at my squad and we know... Whenever it comes to the trans, I don't want to make the same mistake I just made with Gloucester City. If you just notice, Gloucester City, we've got the FM Tactics, uh, it's the, the new chapter, it's called A New Season. And I just completely screwed things up at Gloucester City. I went and dropped 49 million on one player, which is like a major no-no if your club is very small. If your club is very small, you got to become Arsene, you got to become the second incarnation of Arsene Wenger. So you gotta go out there, you gotta get players on the cheap, you gotta get youngsters in, you gotta like flog them off if you can, uh, win titles with players who's uh, who are not world superstars in their own right. So you gotta build the club first before you can think of uh, big name signings. And uh, I made a mistake with Gloucester City and now Gloucester City are gonna have a very interesting season ahead of them because they don't have any more players except for Jack Butlin and one other player whose name is Pipoli, I think. I signed him because of his name, really. By now you should know I've got this thing about names. Uh, so we here we are with uh, the 532. Players are away on holidays, that's fine. They can have a good time. They've come back and discovered their places are gone. You know, it's just stuck around. Uh, but there are some areas of the team that are I'm very concerned with. And over the course of the season, it's you know, I keep an eye out. And we managed to solve that problem towards the end. And the biggest problem I had was this player, Chao Kuotong, who just happens to be my wife's captain. Yep, 
captain and vice captain. Both of them have to go. <laughs> so Chao Ko Tong, um, his positioning is seven. His uh, anticipation is three. His concentration is seven, which not that good, right? His tackling is six. Um, so on the whole, he was very average or low. I wouldn't even call it average. He was low, lower than average. And a lot of the games we played, he had generated 6.3. 6.2, 6.1. Every time we lose, I'm looking squarely at him because he starts the ball rolling in my team. So once he goes down, the whole team goes down. So I realized very quickly, we have to replace him. Now I've got another central defender. His name is Wang Yi Yang. Look at him as well. Positioning, six. So we've got three, two central defenders who give me a lot of concern. This Zheng Yi is not bad. Okay, His positioning is 10 his mentals are pretty okay. Anticipation a bit low. He's the best in the worst uh, part of my team. So the worst part of my team is my three men backline, and I the reason that's the reason why we play a five three two. We got a screen of another three players in front of them who are a bit better than them, and they go like, okay, yeah, we'll we'll look out for these guys, you know. Uh, Xiao Wei Chao is not bad. Uh, Liu Qing, of course, without a shadow of a doubt, I can't lose him. He's my midfielder. But he's been playing as a wing back the whole season. Plays really well as a wing back as well. Uh, so we're gonna uh, train a uh, position role for him to be a wing back on the right now. So we're gonna concentrate on him performing the role of a wing back. Hao Shuang is a central defender. Um, he's not bad as well when he's fit. Now this is one player. Every time I'm looking at the squad sheet, he he's eighty five percent. So I'm like. <laughs> What's going on with my team? <laughs> Most of them, they're not fit when it comes to a match day. So we've had to go out and we've had to bring in some young new players. So now that the board has come back and has given me a bit more latitude, I can actually start thinking of rejuvenating, getting myself three more central defenders. And I'm going to spend money for the central defenders as well, if need be. So we've got a uh, transfer budget of 970. So probably I could find some decent players for about 30,000, 20,000, I'm hoping. I rob some of these teams that are below me. Uh, then we can. Uh, we also are looking. We've also uh, kind of given a kid. Uh, this is the other thing about me. The scouts are okay. Our coaching staff's potential uh, potential ability ability is quite low. So the the ability to you know assess a player's worth is not that fantastic. So I get caught in this trap. Every time I play this game, I see five stars, I go, ding, <laughs> go like, wow. But the thing is this, if your staff are crap, then every player is five stars. It's like asking Mr. Bean to go and tell you which are the best players. He's probably going to see a player dribble, oh, he's five star. <laughs> so we got this guy, we, we put him on a, I almost signed him because he's five star. <laughs> and a lot of clubs seem to be after him. He's wanted by quite a few clubs. And uh, Her -Hey, Hurley Long, he's a, uh, off the ball is impressive, 13. Acceleration is about 10. Heading is 13. So it makes for a pretty decent player inside the box. Now, I might sign him. I might. But uh, that's because we don't really have a lot of strikers, uh, apart from Chen Zizia, who's, oh, I swear to God, I'm going to check my contracts. He's paid £3,300 a week. That's a lot of money. But um, I'm going to keep him on the wage budget because he's he's worth it. And we got another striker called Lee Siang who's also worth it. So these two strikers are going to do the main job. And we're going to get one more striker in. But because I don't think Liu Pei Lin cuts it. So he's I'm moving him into the reserves. So he's in the reserves already. Wang Chen is our captain. He's going. I'm not going to keep him. So now what we do, what do we do? We, we, we've had our scouts go out. So the first thing I do naturally is I've scouted some of these players like Billy Frost. All these players have been scouted. They've all either been scouted or they're invited to the club. So now we know what we want. We want defenders, right? So we've got a whole bunch of uh, position is uh, defender in the center. We've got this whole bunch of players. Uh, some of them have already been scouted. So we're going to keep on inviting them for trials. Those who I have no clue about. So... We're going to offer them a trial, and this is what I normally do, four weeks, yes. 
and they offer a trial and then we've got other players as well uh this we've already had them for trials and they just didn't cut it liu pei ling so i'm looking for now that we've already scouted some of these players we have them in the database we have to do more and now this is the time when i start looking at players who are available and here we are looking for positions for natural center back we most i the most important thing is mentals, right? So I want their anticipation to be at least nine. Their positioning to be at least nine. Okay. Uh, and one more would be uh, concentration, determination. All, all of them, I need them. This is like the starting base for all these players. And we're gonna we know some of these players are on contract so we're gonna scout either scout them we're gonna get a, a sign on one scout <laughs> until full knowledge now the other thing i need to do is i may, need to make sure that in my staff ranks i can get more scouts so i can hire more scouts and this is important so staff search we want a person who can bent judge playability i don't care about the rest so i just want him to be able to judge playability and this is getting pathetic okay now we got 10 of them so we got only one scout who's on holiday his name is me tian he 33 years old um actually a player but well, let's see if i can off no i probably can't offer him a contract because we'll have to transfer him over so We'll have to bring this down to 10. Uh, that gets really sad because there's not many scouts left. So judging playability is at least 10. I need playability more than I need any other attribute. But that's it. So we're running out of people who can be scouts. Nine. And we want the staff role to be a scout. So this will weed out the rest who don't want to be scouts so we got Liu Peng who's playing oh who's uh in Anapura wow he wants 500 he's got 500 pounds per week I don't think I want to pay you that much okay so I guess this guy will have will have to sign him now okay I need just some I need the scouts to go out and get me um knowledge of some of these players so let's look um he's a defender for the Anapura reserves Zhang Hua Huan uh, his knowledge is in China. That's not too bad. We'll approach sign him as well. He's another scout. So we've got a few more scouts coming in. So we've got three more scouts. Uh, staff. So this is the point in the time. This is the uh, point in which uh, I start looking at strengthening my scouting department to get more players. Uh, to get, to, yeah, to get more players. So we have Li Wei Sing. Looking at his tackling alone, 9 to 12. Anticipation 9 to 12, concentration 8 to 12, decisions 11 to 4, positioning 7 to 11. Honestly, just based on that, I'll probably sign him because he's already better than some of my players. So some of the scout reports are in already. Uh, we're 20th of December. We still have a few more weeks before the season starts. Uh, and we've got players in. And we have a few um, that has anticipation, concentration, and positioning fit seem to fit the, the seem to fit the bill that I'm looking for, and we're looking for naturals who are defenders. So this is the whole group of players that we have uh, spot, managed to spot, and we also have the assigned values as well. Um, and I'm, the first thing I want to do, like every other person in this game, I'm gonna look at the stars. So we've got new new Silong. Okay, nice name. Uh, still, we need a bit of scouting on him to be done. His tackling is 8 to 12. So we're going to fine-tune the list. Uh, send him for scouting. Shi Hong, again, uh, very solid mental. So we're going to scout him as well. Kuo Zhi Zhao, solid mentals, Aggression, hmm, nice. Jin Hong Yu Yi, also we'll have to scout him out. Then we got Wang Zi Lin. So all these players are going to be scouted. Uh, we're going to add this whole group and get them scouted out. So I, I might have a tank finally. And he's and so New Silong worth 12 7. 
it looks like we're going to make a bid for him, make an offer. And I'm making an offer for New Zealand because he he feels like a tank. You know, 92 kilograms, 1.93. He's going to be taller than any of the players that I have and he's a walking tank. So we made a bid for him. Uh, now we're going to look for another... We want to find one player, another defender probably. Uh, I've got a lot of defenders now. But now I can afford to be picky. Uh, we've got one other here available on a free transfer, Choi Dong Yin. My word. Uh, positioning is 12. Concentration is 6 to 9. Composure is 3 to 6. Not very good. Anticipation, determination is 8. Off the ball, doesn't not good. He might be a worthwhile signing as well. Just the range alone. But I think we've... Uh, his, the scouts are still scouting him out. Okay, we've done that. Now we're going to look for one more um, role, which is uh, we want to find a central midfielder. So these are the central midfielders that we've already scouted. We've got this Chang Yu Dong. Uh, we've got uh, these players. So we're going to scout them as well and see what we can. How much more information we can extract on this player. So we've still got a few more weeks. All right. New Long deal has been negotiated. They want 26K uh, for him. I will reduce that to about 12,000 and suggest terms. I'll bring it down to 18 suggest terms. They're willing to take it at 18,000. We have taken us, we have done our first signing ever. Okay, <laughs> this is cool. Wow. We've got, he wants a first, he wants to be in the first team. Most likely, you will be in the first team. Our new substitute fee, relegation release cost. You will sell on fee, we're removing top division promotion, we're removing team of the year. Clean shirt bonus, I give you. Clean shit bonus. <laughs> team of the year bonus. 850k per week. Done. Suggest 975 pounds per week. I'll give you 900. Suggest. Fine. Okay, we've done our first signing. The most important thing is not to lose the plot. So we've already... Uh, we know that New Long is coming. So he will slot into this position. Then we've got this new signing, Lin Chun Sheng, who's going to be proved playing here. We've got the English boy Olusiye Obai Daily. He's going to be sitting here. So that's settled the three central defenders. Uh, we've got two more fullbacks here. We've got Wang Hao Tzu, Yang Yao and Li Shuai, which technically tells me that I don't need to make any more signings. We have probably enough. And if I do sign any more, it's because I see a player that is too good to pass up and he gives me options. So now I've done my core of my side. I've done the call. I've focused on the three players. I've I strengthened that three and the players that were in my team last season, they become the they become uh, options like Zeng Yi, uh, Chao Kuo Tong. These guys now become substitutes. They become backup players, which is kind of cool because they only wanted to extend their contracts based on that as well. But uh, as far as captaincy is concerned, Chao Kuo Tong is going to be stripped of his captaincy and so Wang Chen is gone. So he's so actually, all team also lacks captains. So, good. We are ready for the new season. Now, all we do in our, as far as my transfer strategy is concerned, is really simple. It's uh, to look out for wonder kids. And any player who can give me that added dimension when I want to attack. So, that's the next stage of my transfer strategy. There's nothing worse than getting a wuss in your team. I signed this player, Lin Chun Sheng, who's supposed to be the first major, one of the guys who's going to fit into my team. And guess what? He comes in, he's injured. New C Long, I signed him, he's injured. So, what the? I got to go and sign some more players. Fucking hell. Okay, so with the um, transfer window closing in about. I think with the transfer window closing in less than five days, we've already nailed down most of our signings. New Long is a purchase we made for 18k. He's going to be a central defender. Uh, one of the other central defenders that was brought in, Lee Chun Sheng, uh, he's injured already. So we've we've gone out. Uh, we've done. We've got in some players. Uh, we still have some some players that might we're still negotiating. Quote, Guo Zihao, who's supposed to be a second, another striker I'm looking at. I'm going to try and bring him in. Um, this is just gut feel, all right? Finishing 11, composure 8, 
Then I looked at his mentals. I saw his determination wasn't very high flat. It's not a lot of great attributes, but I only got three more days to the transfer window and I need a cover for my striker. And this is just gut feel. Yeah, I'm just gut feel. I, I Sometimes I just go with that. Wang Xiang is another defender. Now, he uh, is a transfer signing because uh, his lows and highs are still better than some of my other players that are not playing. They are in the reserves right now. Uh, among the he will be ranked among the top three defenders if he does come to the club, but he wants a he wants a major out clause, uh, which is a thirty thousand, thirty thousand if um, release clause. So, I've agreed to that. Uh, Chan Min Wei is another midfielder I'm thinking of getting. So he has got pretty good decent numbers. Uh, mentals are pretty average. Uh, he can pass the ball and he has decisions. So we're gonna use him um, in the attacking. 5-3-2 so in this position he can play here this leaves me a bit more options so I don't I'm not overly reliant on three players Li Shu Hai Li Shu Hai uh, Wang Hao Zhe but these were my two standout players last season I couldn't play a game without them and when I reached a point in the season where we needed to win my hands were tight if one of them wasn't available so now I've gotten point uh, I've gotten options back uh, the only area that we were not able to go all out for was strikers we haven't really gone out and gotten ourselves more strikers we do have Hao Shuang uh, who's another striker but he's not that good uh, and in the reserves um, these are the reserve strikers we don't have many we got Liu Pei Lin, who who is one option if he becomes he becomes uh, need, if we need him. In the under 19s, uh, we've got Chu Ling Feng, who should actually be moved to the reserves. Yeah, so there is no point him being there. So I'm gonna make sure that my uh, I have the right players playing. So in the so these are the players, and now uh, this reason why I have to go and sign one more striker. So we're gonna sign one more striker, and that's it. And in terms of our finances, I would say we've done really well. Transfer budget one point, still one over a million. We haven't really spent much. Uh, wage budget still ninety four. Well, currently spending sixteen thousand. I'm refusing to extend contracts. Yes, there is no point extending contracts uh, so early. Uh, most of their contracts are expiring in uh, the end of this year in December. But that's when the league is going to be ending as well. So we've got. Uh, by the time the league ends, I, I can make a decision on who to extend. So I'm not going to go out there and just extend players because if we do get promoted, half of them won't be necessary in the league um, to come. And I have to be, yeah, why should I just go out and extend their contracts if we're going to get promoted? If we get promoted. If we don't get promoted, then I can go and extend their contracts maybe uh, three months before. But this is the nature of the game when you are playing in an LLM safe. This is what you want to do. So I hope, yeah. Uh, and the other thing, yes, one other thing that I like to do is this. the My transfer strategy and my transfer signings I also play friendlies and I try these players out and I need to fit holes. So I, I have options during the friendlies and I try them out in my system. We, in this case, we're only using the 532. So I only try them on this system. I know how I want to play. I want to have option A, option B, option C in terms of maybe I want to lock down uh, midfield, for example. So I want better tacklers in midfield. Or maybe I need some thrust from midfield so I need my uh, CM the, the MCA position uh, which is this player now Ming Yang Ping is on the ball that is a also a pretty uh, creative role so if that is a, a position that we need to find a player for we'll go on and find a player and I use the friendlies to assess how well these current players fit into my system yes I know the friendlies don't mean jack shit but as far as I'm concerned it's not the team you're playing against is how my team plays together. Like, how does that 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 player fit into my system? Does he can he move with the rest of the players? Uh, does he does he coordinate well with the rest of the players? And that's how I design my transfer signing. So I don't spend a lot of money, uh, and so far our tr pre season friendlies are have been pretty good. We won our first preseason friendly and now we're playing our second preseason friendly. I'm looking at players like New Si Long Shan Hai Yang. Hai Yang is a uh he's on trial at the moment. He's twenty years old. He's on trial with us and I'm trying him outside the games and he's appearing to be half decent as well. So uh he's played a few of the games uh, and he may become another option in central defense. 
So uh, we have, he's young, 20 years old. He can go into the, uh, he, we can just put him in the, un, the reserves and that'll be good enough for us. And the boys are playing quite well. So this is what I do in preseason. Um, it gets very tough in LLM, but in LLM, you've got to be very, very patient. You don't have all the money in the world. So you're going to have to like plan everything meticulously. And the other thing about LLM is this. I don't want to play tactic A, tactic B, tactic C, tactic D. No, no bloody way. I could if I had millions of dollars, but I don't have that much money. So I only have one team, one tactic, and a small budget. So we'll play the 5 3 2 again. Uh, the team seems to like playing, and it's a pretty decent defensive system. So it's going to suit this team really well. Uh, and last season, we used the tactic very well. So my transfer strategy wrapped around the team. Worked within a very um, small budget, and we hope that when the season gets underway, we are solid. And I'm pretty confident this season we'll finish among the top two. And when we do, this time I don't want to go. I don't want to do it with a losing out or getting promoted on goal difference. We want to do it in style. So I don't know if you can win the title, but we certainly will give it a good shot. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this edition of the um, Hunan Xiang Tao Journeyman Safe. I shall see you soon. You guys, if you have any questions, you know where to find me on Twitter at BustanetAddicted to FM.com, my website. Once again, I'd like to thank all my patrons for their continued support. You guys have been an inspiration for me and I'm truly humbled by your generosity. So you guys have a good one. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.